Hey guys, Mario from Shrugginfit.com here and I just wanted to film a quick video for you guys today from the gym. How to stay safe, how to warm up for training. So this is a video of my own warm up routine. I do it for five to six minutes. So it's a very simple routine. Get one of these bands, it costs about $5. Maybe you can get it for cheaper. I actually uh, stole this one from my brother who bought it somewhere I don't even know where. It's very easy to get. You can use even those smaller uh, lighter bands but I like to use this one and uh, the routine what I'm doing here is basically I want to stay safe because I'm doing my upper body workout today and I want to make sure that my shoulders are warmed up so a lot of the stuff that I'm doing in this routine is for the shoulders so I want to make sure that they're warmed up that there's minimum risk of injury and I don't want to neglect those shoulders because they're the first thing that goes away at least in my own experience with a lot of clients, the majority of the injuries were the shoulders. So you see here, I'm doing the external rotation work. And this is actually a video that I uh, watched from Alan Trall, who talks about doing these four movements and four planes of movement for the shoulders. They're amazing. And this has greatly improved my posture, also improved my shoulders and also my strength on the bench press. So. Why do you want to stay safe in the gym? Well, look, this game is a long-term game, right? This is not something you just go in there, you hit a 1 PR, and then you win some kind of a lottery ticket and you're good for your rest of your life. If you want to get results in the gym, it's all about consistency. The only way to stay consistent is to stay injury-free. And that's the biggest thing that if you talk to, I talk to a lot of professionals, I talk to a lot of powerlifters, and uh, a lot of these guys are on painkillers and by the time they're 50 they're they're complete a train wreck so they all say hey i wish i took it a little bit easier and just take care of my body a little bit more and i see a lot of guys in the gym they just skip the warm-up process because it's boring it's annoying it's a routine it's something that we're not used to doing and we feel like it's a waste of time well it's not a fucking waste of time because if you're not safe if you injure yourself you're out you're out for a couple of months you can even go out for a year you can even end your complete lifting career. And I know plenty of guys who just injure themselves and they never can lift again, at least not in the same way. So I have to train like they're 80 years old and they're in their 20s. So you can see here I'm warming up also my lower back. I'm doing uh, an upper body day. My lower back will play a key role here when I do bench press. So I'm definitely doing some of these hyper extensions. Uh, this is a setup that I have in this gym. As you can see here from the equipment, I don't use that much. I just use the lower back machine. As far as this here, I just warm up my elbows. I did have a lot of tendonitis problems there with golfers and tennis elbow, which uh, both happened to me. So I'm just making sure that my uh, shoulders are warmed up. This, if you're living in some kind of warm place, let's say Dubai, Mexico, or a place like that where you just end up being completely drowned in sweat by the time you get to your gym I mean, you might don't need to warm up this much if you're in a colder country you would actually need to increase the warm-up time to be closer to 10 15 even 20 minutes or sometimes I don't know have your jacket on uh, while you're warming up just to make sure that those uh, muscles are ready and that those joints are ready for action I'm here in Spain right now when I'm filming this video so the temperature is pretty average it's about 18 degrees so it's pretty solid see here I'm actually lowering my uh, doing a very low uh, squats I'm doing ATG squats a little bit as a warm-up with overhead to uh, get those shoulders again but also to warm up a little bit of the lower body because lower body is actually involved a lot I mean you want to warm up uh, legs as well when even though I'm doing upper body today I'm still warming up everything and the same thing happens when I'm doing lower body, I'm still warming up my entire body. So this routine will be repeated regardless what I'm doing. And here, doing some triceps work. This band is absolutely amazing when you're doing these warm-ups. I mean, you don't need to do any special equipment, don't need to use any dumbbells, any machines, or anything like that. This has been a perfect uh, addition to my training. I mean, I can't thank my brother enough for discovering this, I didn't even use a band before, I actually use a stick before to warm up my shoulders, but I found this uh, band to be uh, very, very effective and much more effective than a, than a stick. Here I'm doing some uh, shoulder warm up, again, medial uh, deltoid warm ups, and then I'm gonna go switch and do some biceps warm ups as well. This is a, a warm up routine, as you can see, it's not making me sweat, it's not making me 
uh, fatigued, it's not making me kill myself too hard. I mean, I see a lot of guys and they go on a treadmill or something like that. They amp up and do some kind of high intensity interval as their warm up. I mean, there's definitely no need for that. You want to take it easy. You want to get warm. You want to practice the movement patterns. You want to visualize how you're going to do in your training because what you think, your mental preparation will determine a lot of your set. And that confidence that you get when you're warmed up, when you enter the set, plays a big role. And here I'm doing some uh, push-ups. This is uh, to warm up for the bench press, which is the first movement of the day. And uh, if that was a squat, for example, I would do some um, more squats. And on top of this, what I'm doing as well, this is just a generic warm-up routine that I'm doing for every single workout. But on top of this, what I'm also doing is a uh, warm-up set. So I'm going to do at least four or five sets where I'm going to ramp up the weight starting from empty bar, going higher with the weights until I reach my work weight. So this is a very simple routine. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you got a value out of it. Let me know what you think in the comments below, how often you warm up and if this helped you out. As always, make sure to click subscribe to the channel to support the channel. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.